Hello friends, welcome back to Crazy Crafts. In the last video, we saw the video sensing concept. That is, you are going to show away the crafts from your video. What video you are recording that is going to interact with the sprite. That is what we saw in the last video. I have made a small change in the last video and this video's program. I am going to play the uh, program. Just observe my dear friends. I'll just play the green flag clicked. You can see one crab is coming. I'm going to hit the pop sound. One crab, two crabs, the pop sound, three crabs, the pop sound. The last time we had a hell lot of noise when I put the pop sound. And why it was, I'll be telling in this video. That is because I had written a program that is when I start a clone, wait until the video motion on the sprite is greater than 15. And then hide the crab and then start up of sound. This code is correct. One extra code I had written was from the control I had put it. Put all these script under forever. So we shouldn't put it under forever because. So for every microsecond this program is going to run. For every microsecond the crabs are being uh, sensing the video. So for every microsecond pop sound appears that is why the noise it was hell lot of noise but the correct code is each time a clone is being created every clone is going to wait until there is a video motion on it it is going to check it is going to check if there is a video motion in it only once only once it is not going to check if that thing is happening only once then it is going to hide itself and then popping a sound this is the right code so once this is done today i'll be showing you how to increase the score each time one of the crab is hit so in order to note your score again we need variable so variable is a memory location used to store a value this we know already so in order to create that variable you need to go to the variable palette and just go to the variable palette and make a variable now i'm going to click score and give uh, type score and give score so initially the score is zero in order to Set it. Set the score as zero. You just go to in the variable palette. You get something called set. So take that particular block, put it when green under when green flag clicked, and just go to the drop down and choose score. That is initially a score is set to zero itself, and your score need to increase every time you are going to hit the crab. So in order to do that, so here. When the crab is going to disappear, you know that when the video motion on the sprite is greater than 15, it is going to hide and start a pop, pop sound. At that particular time, your score need to increase by 1. So what I am going to do is change. So under the variable palette, you have something called change. So just take uh, the change block, put it under after the start pop sound and just uh, choose this drop down and choose the score okay that is every time you are going to hit the crab the score is going to increase by one how this is going to happen i'll be showing you now i just click the green flag now you can see the score has increased two three four that is each and one crab is dying the score is increasing so every crab is going to sense only once if there is a video motion on it. If only once it is sensed, then the score is increased. That is how the program should be. Now this is done. Score is done. How to set the level for levels for this game? Different levels for this game. So let us keep like this. That is each time you're going to kill ten crabs, you will be going to the level two. Every time you go to the levels, when you change the levels of the game, the difficulty of the game needs to increase. That is, competition with the crab should increase. Now, now you have your crab moving in one step. What we have given is uh, the crab is going going in one step. I want the crab to go to two steps. It should go in two steps when it is going to level two, and it should go to three steps when it is going to the level three. How to do this? 
so level is again another variable so let's um, create another variable called the level okay i'll go to this variable palette and just uh, give the make a variable and just give level and just click okay now it is a level zero there is nothing called level zero always uh, levels should start from one so what we'll do uh, we'll set the level to one just uh, take the set block and put it under when green flag clicked so set the level to one when the level is one you know level is going in one step so what we'll do we have written a code called when i start a clone when this uh, all these clones should start from either one of the four sides you have four sides either of uh, any one of these sides uh, the crabs will shall appear so instead of writing another parallel code what i'll do i'll just put this particular block under this so it's forever point towards the apple move one step change the one uh, constant and then uh, instead of this crab moving forever towards the apple so we'll just set a condition to this so instead of forever we have something called uh, repeat until block that is until some goal is uh, you are reaching until some goal do this enough after that don't do it okay that is how we need to do it's not something like forever thing so what we'll do under uh, control we have something called repeat until uh, that is reaching up till some goal you are supposed to do this so instead of forever those scripts i'm going to put it under this so repeat until you're touching apple that is act actual call so what we'll do we'll go to sensing we, and under the sensing you have something called touching uh, different options i'll take this uh, touching and then put it over here just uh, drop down here instead of mouse pointer you just go to the apple that is the crabs or the clones move towards the apple until it is touching the apple once you are touching the apple your game need to get over so what you are going to do this is going to repeat until what it is going to repeat that is moving towards the apple and how the crabs need to move towards the apple not only in one step not only in one step it should be in level step it should be in level step so how this level is going to increase we will give us um, we will give a condition that is what it is that is the le level is going to increase by one a level is going to increase by one each time you're going to kill 10 crabs each time you're going to kill 10 crabs level is going to increase by one so how to do that again i need to start a condition that is under the control we have something called when i start a clone okay when i okay instead of when i start a clone we'll keep uh, okay when the green flag clicked itself from the events okay when green flag clicked you uh, keep a note of the score that is what we need to so forever so forever and then you have something called if then loop just uh, put the if then and then you have something called um, greater than under the operators or equal to okay that is if you are going to kill the crab around 10 crabs you are going to the level 2 so if uh, score equal to 10 or greater than 10 something like that you can put I am going to take greater than for now if the score is greater than 10 go to the level 2 so here the score need to come so what you will do in the variables you have something called score score okay if the score is greater than 10 what the level should happen the level should change the level should change by one so what we'll do change go to the variable palette you have something called change so just take the change uh, and then change and then drop down change level by one change level by one and your crab should 
increase the speed each time the level is changing your craft should increase the speed each time the level is changing and again the scores also should start from zero each time the level is changing so what we'll do here change level by one and again set the score to zero and again set the score to zero and then crabs should increase the speed each time the level is changing so instead of move by one steps what I'll do is <coughs> I have something called mobile level steps how to make mobile level step I'll go to motion I have something called move steps itself instead of this 10 steps i'll go to the variables and the variables have something called level the okay i'll move level steps okay let's see how this is working up till here it should be fine i feel so we'll just test our code okay from the sides it is coming code is increasing and the level is still in one so once the score is greater than 10, the level needs to increase to 2 and again score is set to 0 and the crab is coming in even more speed and then again score is increasing to 10. Now that it is level 10, crab is coming in even more speed. This is how it is happening guys. But one thing I uh, didn't do that is, <coughs> no crabs are coming when the crab is going to touch the apple my game should get over so what should happen uh, we have given repeat until touching apple point towards apple move level steps change costume all these things we have done so once you touch the apple what should do what you should do stop everything right so what we'll do we'll go to control under the control you have something called stop everything okay stop all that is stop whatever you're doing okay and even the video also will turn off okay videos also will turn off so we'll go to video sensing and just uh, uh, take the turn on video instead of turn on video i'll put it as turn off video okay now let's see if this is working okay i'm just going to play with the craps Now it is level 2 and um, the level 3 speed has increased. Now I will allow one crab to eat everything. So everything has stopped. So what you can see is everything has stopped. Okay, instead of turn on video, I should give it a turn off video. I, I'll, I, now I will allow the crab to eat the apple. You can just see how it works. Yeah, now the game has got over since the crab came towards the apple. This is how my friends the uh, game is going to work. I feel everyone has enjoyed this game. For further such game design and animation, please do subscribe to my channel and support my channel. Thank you friends.